All right, we are heading out again. Today is gonna to be a very jam-packed day, and I'm very excited because one of the stops I've been looking forward to the most is today. We are about a 15 minute drive from our first stop, so we're gonna head out. We just pulled up to our first stop of the day, which is the Geyser. The coffee shop here doesn't open for about 10 more minutes, so we're just waiting for that to open to get a little more energized, and then we'll start the walk to go see the Geyser. Now we're ready. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. Just as we were walking up, it went off. So I think it goes off like every 10 minutes, so we don't have to wait too much longer. But such poor timing, just as we were pulling up. So I learned that coming in the morning is significantly better. There are very few people out. We can just enjoy the geysers and everything. Yeah, the tour groups haven't shown up yet, so that helps a lot with the, with the crowd. So hopefully we'll keep that up for a little bit. Our next stop is a pretty popular one. So as long as we beat the tour groups, should be fine. So we just finished up at the geyser. That one was so big, it shot up so high, and walking through the warmth of the steam was so nice, even though it did smell like eggs. So uh, yeah, gave you warmth, but it didn't smell great. So take your pick on if you would think that's worth it. I thought it was worth it. Our next stop is one that I have been the most excited for. I'm so excited. We are at Goldfoss Waterfall. Just driving up already, it looks so beautiful and I am so excited to go out and go look at it. I think this is the biggest waterfall that we're going to see on this trip and I'm so excited. I think this is the hardest it's rained on us since being here. So this isn't that bad at all. Okay, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little windy. <laughs> This it's is... so cold, but so worth it. This is oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> this has woken me up. Yeah. It's so big, I can't even get it on the frame. Look at how much steam is coming up from all of the water falling. I don't think you can see it perfectly through the camera, but so much is coming up. This has been such an incredible experience. Just like insane views. Yeah, I could stand out here and watch this for hours, but as you can see, it's a little bit wet and my body is going out. So <laughs> we're gonna go back to the car. <laughs> it's a little chilly. <laughs> Here's our lunch for the day. Trying to dry off from the waterfall. So this will be our little snacking break. Off. We took some time to get a little bit dry and, and now we we're gonna get wet again. Yeah. So much taller than I thought it would be. It looks so much bigger down here than it does at the top of the hill. It's so big! <laughs> Oh, 
We just got to our guest house that we're staying at for the night. It looks like right now we're the only ones here. They have a really nice hot tub and a sauna, so we will definitely be using that tonight. Right outside is this cute little farm that is ran by the people who own the guest house. And they have the cutest animals that we're just gonna stand out and watch all night if we can. <laughs> we don't know if they are sheep or rams or lambs or really what the difference is, but they're cute. They're and very cute. There's a bunch of babies running around and they are just the absolute cutest things I've ever seen. They are very violent though when they're feeding, <laughs> which can be horrifying to watch. A little bit. But still traumatizing. <laughs> it's still cute. So since we're the only ones in here right now, we are going to enjoy the hot tub for the rest of the night and pick back up tomorrow when we start going along the south side of Iceland. <laughs> do, do that again. Is that what I look like holding the tripod? <laughs> hey, go down. Um, oh, look! Hi, that's so close to my face. Stop it. 